What's going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Yoda and welcome to episode 7, I believe, of my Tony Pulis challenge here on FM Hub. Wow. That, I'm, seriously, I, mean, I still struggle to say that, which is incredibly weird. Anyway, you might have noticed, oh my god, it's a new formation! This one is from the Steam Workshop, I'm actually going to put a link to it in the description this time. Uh, I, I usually say that on my channel, and then just completely neglect to do it. Which is incredibly bad, I know, because to be honest, people make these and they spend time making these, and they deserve the uh, they deserve um, credit for it. So, uh, and I never give it to them, but I'm actually going to do it this time. Uh, this one, as you can see, is called uh, Control Nano 14. It's not actually called that. It's called something like a two two three two one two, like count uh, if, if, uh, fit any team I think or something like that but as uh, as proof it is uh, more direct passing I may change it to route 1 at some point in the box at some point in the box sorry I was just reading that it conflicted uh, with uh, what born to box I've not recorded this for like three weeks so forgive me I've been I, well I had a backlog and if I'm, if I'm honest with you guys I'm not really even enjoying this series but it's something that I am going to keep doing uh, just because I do want to get to the end of it uh, I don't want to give up in the middle of it. I'm not that kind of person where I, I just give up. Um, but I, f I figured, because these guys, they were going to play a 4-4-2 apparently. Um, obviously, that doesn't always happen, but um, they've been playing 4-4-2 pretty much all season, as far as I could tell. Um, so I figured this might actually be quite good. Um, defensively, I'm probably going to get utterly ruined. Um, but attacking-wise, I should just demolish like their unprotected defense I think because if I'm honest their midfield of Richards and Michu um, depending on what Richards that is because I don't actually know um, depending on which Richards that is it could be an attacking Richards it could be a defense of Richards if it's an attacking Richards my midfield will utterly just destroy them essentially because I've got two attacking playmakers who will just sit behind my strikers at the end of the day um, so, yeah, there is that. Uh, defensively, though, I do only have two at the back, both on uh, stopper, which means they will end up right next to my... This is a great game so far. It's, uh, yeah, it's awesome. Uh, yeah, so they'll end up right next to my uh, Anchorman, which will leave me with essentially a three at the back. Um, or at least I believe that is the idea. I don't know exactly this, um, this is the first time I've ever used it, um, I don't know exactly how this is supposed to work, but theoretically, that is how it should work. But at the moment, as you can see, it's not like that because my command pushed up there for some reason, um, which is a little bit weird. But we are playing the offside trap, which means these guys are sitting so high. Uh, do you want to... No, you're like not wanting to go get that one. Chico on the yellow card. Yeah, Danek with a free kick. Nothing from that, though. So, so far, we have restricted their passing game, which is quite nice. Boney should be doing better than that one, with that one, though. Yeah, we've restricted their passing game, and no team particularly playing well. Uh, our passing is pretty much as bad as theirs, um, although we are playing direct passing. So, that doesn't surprise me at all. Um... Unfortunately for us, Shramak is uh, still injured, but I think he should be back for the next game, which means I'll probably take off uh, Dwight Gale, leave Jerome on. Fuck yes! 1-0! There we go. Um, what was I saying? Uh, yeah, leave Jerome on, take Dwight Gale off, and then um, put uh, Shramak in his place, and then just go Route 1. We should fucking smash it up there. <laughs> um, I don't think there's any point in keeping Gale on or doing Route 1 while Gale is on the pitch, because he's too small for it, essentially. Oh, there is certainly the possibility of a, um, a big man, little man combination going on up there, and uh, Gale just feeding off on the uh, the knockdowns. But, although we do have John Williams, who is not exactly the biggest of people in uh, the Engant role. So that would be interesting, uh, to see how he deals with Route 1. But to be honest, he should feed off the... Uh, the knockdowns are really so a little bit of pressure from Swansea here getting um, 
a little bit of territory from us, but we dealt with that well. Williams, Gale, oh, what a finish. What a finish. Jesus Christ. All right, this formation, man. Um, that's made a difference. Because if you remember, I am I could not, could not actually get a direct passing as such. I forgot I don't have a webcam on. Um, I kind of done, I done quote marks there. Um, I'm thinking about putting a webcam on, to be honest. Just something different, really. Um, just to make it a little bit more interesting. Um, oh, good save there by Hennessy. Let's go in the bottom corner. Um, still in bottom three, but a win here is, is superb. It does claw back a little bit of point, uh, points difference between us and the rest of the pack. If you remember the aim at the beginning of this save... Or this series, not save, sorry, I shouldn't really call it the beginning of this save. The aim at the beginning of this series was to eclipse uh, Tony Pulis. Uh, and I've certainly not done that. And there is uh, one reason for that. It's because long passing. I couldn't, or direct passing at least. I could not do it. Passionate. Uh, you know what, actually, I'm going to go with an assertive. I'm very happy. Yeah. There we go. And then, uh, however... Uh, We'll leave it at that, I think. Just wanted to get um, that last guy. Uh, let's. Oh, no, I want to go to tactics, didn't I? Tactics. Um, no one looking tired at the moment. No. That's all good. There we go. One thing you may notice both of our goals came from the uh, the right wing. Um, Joel Ward, the. Um, fucking hell. Jesus, Church. <laughs> get your shit together, man. <laughs> Um, yeah, both came from uh, Joel Ward, I think, or I assume, his side anyway, um, which is uh, surprising because we are exploiting the middle. They've just scored that though, Marvin M does. Hmm. Yeah, that's not great defending. There was, uh, well, there should have been someone react to that. We're still in the lead here though, which is good. Yeah, Denek, Jerome, Gale. Oh, it's off the crossbar. <laughs> oh, man. Wow. Such a tight game as well. They've um, they've really, really clawed back everything in the second half. Which does lead me to believe we may need to go on the counter. And then... Instructions, please. We'll go with a... Fuck! Shitting hell. Um, didn't give me time to uh, change it. That's from corner as well, wasn't it? And then swinging corner, right in front of the keeper. Keeper, you've got to be getting that. Really got to be getting that. Come on, let's go. Tekugoi, Deadly. Get rid of it. There we go. There we go. Let's go. Let's go. No, no. Ah, shitting. I don't know why he didn't release that ball quicker. No, M there to an awful shot there. That was terrible. Mari Apple gets that one away. Now. Ah, Jesus, couldn't quite break on that. Alright. No need for a sub. No need for a sub at all. Just a route one. And hoping it just goes directly to Jerome's head is essentially what we want. Shitting hell, are you kidding me? Fuck me. Should have gone more defensive earlier in the game. Really should have gone more defensive. Fuck, that's completely my fault. Ah, shit. Oh, man. You see, my, I always think, like, if it's working, you don't change it. We went 2-0 up. 
there was uh, there was no need for me to be like we were tuning up in the first half. There was I didn't I didn't feel like there was a need for me to change it because it was working. But man, I should have looked at the stats and realised that they were breaking us apart a little bit in the second half. He must have changed something to um, to get through us. Fuck me. Can't believe that. Ah, oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> Four two. Oh man. All right. Okay. Yeah, tidy finish. Ah, uh -huh. mm -hmm. right. you know what that is? That has mostly consigned us to relegation at this point. But you gotta, you gotta think positive. You gotta think positive, as I always say. And um, there's certainly, like mathematically, we're not down at the end of the day. There's only five points between us and West Ham. That's two games. Oh man. Uh, sorry about the typing there. I um, just needed to reply to a message. Fuck me. Oh my god, Vaughn's got that again. We haven't got many shots on target though, to be honest. Right, yeah, disappointing, that's for sure. Fuck you guys. Fuck you guys. <laughs> anyway, um, oh, I'm so sorry. I really shouldn't reply while recording a video, but it's quite important. Um, essentially, I'm starting up uh, a, a new 11-a-side team for next season, and uh, we're just deciding on the stuff for the kit. Um, anyway, <laughs> I know it's a little bit late, shush. <laughs> All right. Oh, man. Oh, shite. That is absolutely shite. Tune it up after 23 minutes and we got fucked. Anyway, guys, I'm going to see you all in the next episode where we will be playing. Who are we playing? We're playing Stoke. Where is Stoke in the league? Stoke are 10th. Ah, oh, Jesus. Who else have we got for the rest of the season? We've got Sunderland, Tottenham, and Fulham. So, Sunderland. Oh, they're relegated. Tottenham, 7th, and Fulham. Ninth, Jesus. All right. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna see you all in the next episode. So, guys, peace out. Oh, actually, no, wait, wait, wait. Check out all the shit in the description for the link for this, uh, this tactic for me and all that shit. Anyway, guys, see you later.